inside leg on, not inside rein. I want outside rein connection. There's your left calf. Let it bend behind you. Good. And then canter. Why do you think you did that? Okay, so he's not listening to your leg. But is he in a good balance? Why? He's overbent to the inside, yeah? The first step of canter is their hind leg. And if he's overbent to the left, he can't pick up canter. That's why you've had a harder time on the right side, yeah? He's got to be able to put pressure and weight on that right hind leg and not always be falling out, okay? So down transition, while you down transition, counter flex spiral in. You have to get down in that right leg, outside elbow, outside shoulder, and counter flex. Now, get out of your left rein. There, there, and trot like that. Don't pull your left rein to trot. Counter flex, spiral in. I don't care what he does, spiral in, spiral in. Okay, he's just trying to figure out what you want. Now ask for the trot transition, bend him to the outside. Soften your left rein, bend him to the outside. Good, and trot, 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 good. And then canter, see how he's straighter, put your inside leg on and canter, there you go. Have you gotten a comment before that's over bent to the inside? I guarantee you every test it's going to be to the left, okay? Because your left rein does a lot, but your left leg doesn't do much, okay? And so when you just bend from the left rein, they look over bent and out of balance. It's distracting, okay? <coughs> when they're bent off of your left leg, it's correct into the outside rein, and then you can sit still. Hold your rein, but put your leg on. Good, and then straighten. Ha, ha, ha.